Welcome everybody to another trading video. Today we are going to be having a closer look at some of the very common commodities um, and what their recent price action has been. So specifically we're going to be looking at uh, Brent crude oil, natural gas and gold. And in recent times um, or in recent weeks and months these commodities have been right, rightfully on a tear, largely due to inflation and also the pressure from Russia and Ukraine. However, in the last week or so, we have seen a strong pullback, specifically with regards to oil and also natural gas. Whilst gold has um, struggled to break above that two thousand dollar break and hold above that two thousand dollar level in the last um, few months or so. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a closer look and see what kind of opportunities that potentially may arise. So, first, we're going to have a look at Brent crude, um, and what we can see is that in recent weeks or in recent days, we've had this test of the upper trend line of this, call it a symmetrical triangle, um, and we've fallen right back down. So we haven't been able to break above that, and we've come back and retested this 50-period um, moving average, and so far we've been able to hold above it. Now, look, a lo some people have been calling and saying that this is, you know, kind of it, it, the next wave down or the next move down. I'm not so um, confident yet that we are out of this kind of period of consolidation. Before I would say that I would want to see a break, you know, potentially going either through, so something like this, before maybe a move back down towards this 90 or um, that 75 kind of level, or potentially, you know, we still go back up for another test of the upper tra trend line. However, not this one's a bit too early to kind of call either way, but definitely one to keep an eye on. Although we have seen that, um, you know, oil has been on a tear recently, so it is due for a pullback sometime soon. Similarly, as we have a look at natural gas, um, the same can be said. Natural gas was at multi-decade highs and had been for quite a while. It was holding there for a couple of months. Basically, since April all the way through to the end of June, we'd seen this kind of movement towards $10. Um, and we were, weren't able to break above that. Um, so what we can see is we've kind of fallen back to this level at about six, um, and we're just waiting to see what happens next. Do, does natural gas have another leg in it where it can bounce back up and retest this high, or you know, do, and I think largely this will be dependent on inflation um, and inflationary figures and potentially Russia and Ukraine, um, or are we able to um, fall back down, break through the six, and potentially move back? Um, to some kind of reasonable level, it may be between five and six, um, five and six dollars. But you know, another one where we do want to just wait and see. But we have seen quite a strong pullback after reaching those highs, almost a um, thirty percent retracement. So quite a quite a decent retracement there. And to finish off, just having a look at gold. Um, of course, we know gold is always front and center, especially with regards to inflation. But it hasn't really been able to move particularly above, as I said at the start of the year, above $2,000 and um, hasn't been able to get and hold above there. And it's kind of just been ranging between, you know, $1,750 to about $18 to $19 in the last couple of months. So what we can see is, look, there isn't a great deal of opportunity um, watching gold. It does, you know, it is in this kind of long period of consolidation. Um, but, it, you know, as we've seen, each time it's tried to retest 2070, we've fallen straight back down. And in recent weeks, it's even, it, the range has become a little bit tighter between about 1880 and 1780. So we're in a bit of a tight range, not quite sure where to go next. Perhaps we've got a long opportunity at 1780 or perhaps a short opportunity at 1880. But we are waiting to see what that next move is. Anyways, thank you for listening and hope you have a, a good time trading. Thank you.